Hi, I'm Terry. As many of you know, I've recently had knee surgery, been on crutches for a while. I'm now going to physical therapy, and I just found out about a program that's been in existence for the last 12 years. Who knew? It's the Village of Key Biscayne Senior Transportation Program, and it's easy. I got this flyer from Roxy over at the uh, Village Hall. To register, I have to be 60 years or older. Well, that's me. I have to be a full or part-time resident of Key Biscayne. That's me, too. I have to contact the Office of Senior Services, Roxy, at 305-365-8953. Then I have to provide, if possible, the name of home health care aides, nurses, and other qualified personnel caring and assisting the registered user, if applicable. I just have to get over to uh, the Key Biscayne uh, Physical Therapy to start working on my knee. So I called Roxy the other day. We made an appointment. And now I'm waiting for the driver. His name is Peter. He's going to take me over. I don't have to bother my neighbors or my family. I, it makes me independent which makes me feel very good. As you can see, I'm not too good at driving a car right now. So this is very helpful for me. Thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. How long have you been driving for the village? Um, actually, uh, for more than 15 years. About how many seniors do you drive uh, each day? It all depends. Some days it's low, some days it's so busy, but it's about, uh, I would say, eight to 10 back and forth. Some of they demand a lot because they want to go to the markets, to the bank, and to the pharmacy, to the doctors. And then it all depends how the day goes. And then am I allowed to bring a friend along with me? Yes, there's no problem. Do some people uh, say they have a doctor's appointment? Can they make a reservation in advance and get the time that they need? Everybody should call Roxy at the community center, mm -hmm. phone number and set up with there a day um, ahead in order to be on time on the list. So we have like 10 minutes apart to pick up times. I'm going to Key Biscayne Physical Therapy for my knee. So I'll be there probably about an hour and a half. So when I'm finished, what do I do? Oh, you just give me a call. Or if you don't carry your cell phone with you, ask them to call because most of the time you have our phone number, which is very easy number, by the way. Um, 305, uh -huh. as a Miami um, area code, 361, keeps came, mm -hmm. and 9999, it's so easy. Oh, that's really easy, I'll never forget that one. Everyone can keep that in mind. And then, so. when I call you, uh, when I'm finished, how long does it usually take for you to pick me up? I will let you know. It all depends what I'm doing at the moment because we have uh, people going back and forth. Uh -huh. So if I'm available, I'll tell you a couple of minutes, five minutes. If I have someone to pick it up, I'll tell you to stay inside at the air conditioning, sitting, resting, and I'll be there no later than 10 minutes. Oh, that's easy. That's not complicated. And how many days a week is this service offered? The service is from Tuesday through Thursday, starting at 9 a.m., ending at 3 p.m. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Exactly. Every week, from 9 to 3. So what happens if my pickup is at 3 o'clock? Do I have to make it a little bit earlier? Uh, you should, yeah, because I have to finish by 3. How are people discovering that you have this? Well, I think uh, the community center uh, has a uh, magazine, the Island Magazine says about it, and the community center tells people around. Peter, where do you normally drop off uh, the residents when they have to go, to, say, to, I don't know, the doctor's office or the shopping? Where do you normally drop them off? As close as possible to the door so they don't walk much, or the ramp if they have a walkers. Uh, the location to pick it up, is it the same place where it's you the drop them off? the same place I drop them off, or they arrange. They call me and say, hey, I'm in a different place right now. 
you know, uh, some people, I drop over here the, uh, the Mount Sinai, and mm -hmm. then they come to Starbucks and walk through here. Oh, okay. And then I pick them up here. Depends. The people tell me where they at. But normally is where we drop off. Now I'm here at the Key Biscayne Physical Therapy, and I gotta get some physical therapy on my knee. Mm -hmm. Well, I made it. Here I am at the Key Biscayne Physical Therapy. I'm looking forward to the therapy on my knee. It was so easy to get here, and it was really helpful. I don't know what I would have done without it. So. How are you doing? Good, fine, thank you. Good. And how are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Vicki Fox. This the service is just like everything else at the community center is so incredible. We are here on Key Biscayne and uh, I am grateful and I think Lots and lots of people, if not everybody, is grateful for having this community center. One of the services that I love so much that's been so helpful to me is this particular service, the limousine pickup. And uh, it comes three times a week where it's available for us. And Roxy makes the arrangements. Roxy is our director at the community center. Now, I learned about this community center when uh, I was, I had an accident and I was hardly walking. I was in a wheelchair. And this is back in 2004, 10 years exactly. And uh, I was told by Roxy that I could be taken around the uh, island. I didn't know how I would get around otherwise. And so uh, the first time I came down in my wheelchair, in the wheelchair, I don't like to own a wheelchair. And I mean by saying that it's mine. It's no longer used, fortunately. And uh, I, sat, I sat in the wheelchair waiting for a vehicle to come and pick me up. And I saw this, at the time it was Mercedes limousine drive up and uh, a chauffeur getting out and said, are you Vicki Fox? And I said, yes, and it was picking me up. <laughs> and I was floored, I giggled. And so uh, the driver drove me to the community center and picked me up and drove me home. And another time I went to the library and then to the community center. And another time I went to Winn-Dixie. Uh, it, it was a lifesaver because here I had a way to get around. The best thing is, is that it gives us freedom to be able to get around and not be stuck in. Um, because if we aren't driving and there isn't anybody at the moment to take us to wherever we want to go on the island, uh, we wouldn't be able to really, you know, possibly call a cab. I uh, just thought of that, you know, that's a possibility, but it's not as convenient. Uh, one thing we do need to make prior arrangement uh, with the service so that they know that we, you know, need them and want them. I, uh, would I recommend it? Absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt about it. The service is excellent and it, it's, it's vital. It's really important that we have this service. Thanks, Christine. I really enjoyed the workout today. I'm getting much better. I'll see you tomorrow, Terry. Have a good one. Thank you so much. See you then. Bye. Bye.
Now I have to call Peter to have him pick me up, or I could have Christine call Peter. Either way, it's very easy. And by the time I get downstairs at the ramp, Peter will be there. Then I'm off to my next stop. Hi, Peter. This is Terry. Yes, I'm all set and I'm all finished. Okay, great. Good, I'll meet you down at the ramp where you left me off. And it'll take me about three, four minutes to get there. And then we'll go on to our next stop. Thanks, Peter. See you later. Bye. That was so easy. Okay, now I'm off. With this program, can I go any place on the key? Yes. No restrictions? No restrictions on the key. So if I want to go visit a friend... It's okay. It's okay. You'll drop me off at my friend's house? Yes. And I come to pick you up later if you need so. Say I go to the grocery store and I've got some packages and of course I'm on crutches. It's a little hard for me to carry. Are you able to help me carry my packages to the car? I do and I, it's my pleasure. The only thing is make sure you get a little cart at the uh, at the building when we get there in order to carry up because most of the time I have someone else to pick up I'm not going to be able probably to go upstairs with the package. Oh that's important for some people because that's very difficult for them yeah, to I'd do. Be, I'd be helping a lot of people here and I do with a pleasure. The only thing is it all depends on my schedule. Of course. Because I cannot let somebody waiting to do something that is not my service. Exactly. But if I leave the grocery store and have my groceries cart, you'll put them in the trunk for me? Yes, I do. If I don't have anybody else to pick up, I'll wait for you. But if I have someone, I will do whatever I have to do, and when you get ready, you give me a call, and I go for you. People, if they want to go to lunch, will you drop them off at the restaurant so you can go, they can go to lunch? Yeah, the senior transportation is for the, it's available to go anywhere they want in the island. So if they want to go to the restaurant, uh, if I don't have any, as I told you, if I don't have anything to do, I'll wait for them. But if I have someone, I go do what I have to do, pick up somebody, drop off, and come back for them. So basically, the best thing is when you're ready, just give me a call and I tell you how long until I'm going to be there. I've just uh, got a prescription to fill. It's going to be a quick one? I think it'll be pretty fast. Okay, they told me it was ready. Right here. When you're ready, just come out. I'm going to be watching you, so I'll pick you oh, up. Oh, that's wonderful. You're making my life so much easier. Okay. I can't imagine. Do you need any other help? No, I think I'm fine. I'm just going to go get my prescription filled. Okay. Thanks, Peter. See you in a few minutes. Okay, that was fast. I got my prescription. Now I'm a little tired, so I'm ready to go home. And I see that Peter is right here waiting for me. Here's my prescription. Here. Okay, I got it. And there's my crutch. Okay, Thank you for waiting. For you, Great. No, we didn't at all. Now I'm a little bit tired, so is it possible you can take me home now? Of course. Okay. Do you ever have a husband and wife come that you drive them to... Um, wherever they need to go, or is it mainly just single people? No, I have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ross, which is Lewis and Mercy. Mm -hmm. They always come together, they go to the Mount Sinai, they go whenever they, they need to go, to the post office, sometimes to the pharmacy, and I take both. I try to schedule themselves the appointment together, so it doesn't make back and forth. I'm looking forward to throwing this away. Okay, Thank you again for all the help. You're very welcome, and you know that we are valuable anytime you need. I appreciate it. That's a Thank wonderful you. service, and I recommend it highly to everyone to call Roxy over at the Senior Center and get your name on that list because, unfortunately, you never know when you're going to need it. I'm Terry. Thanks for watching.